Hey guys, so today is Tuesday, August the 11th, I believe, and I really just wanted to um, come on camera today and um, do a little um, haul, baby haul for you ladies and just to show you some of the things that I've gotten so far that I think are really cute and I'm excited about. Um, today I did have a doctor's appointment, a 28 week appointment, and um, I will tell you ladies how that is going um, in my in a little bump update. Um, so yeah, today was my 28 week appointment. I had to take another glucose test for the second time. The first time I passed it, um, hopefully the second time I passed it. Um, I also found out that my iron is low and I'm anemic. So that explains why I have just been tired all the time and out of it. Um, I normally I'm like on top of things, especially when I know I have a lot of stuff to do, which we are having a baby shower and I do have to get the house ready and so much stuff for this baby shower. And I just feel like I've just been a lazy bum because I have been so tired. Like I'm just like, oh my gosh, why am I so tired all the time? And then today they took, they um, tested my hemoglobin and found out that it was really low. So I have to get on an iron supplement. And I was reading the little pamphlet on that and not having enough iron and not producing enough red blood cells um, is can make you feel really tired and really weak. So um, yeah, definitely today, this evening, I have to go out and get the iron supplements because your girl is just tired all the time. They also wanted me to get a um, Tdap vaccine, which I refused. And I'll tell you ladies, I'll also share that with you in another bump update. But um, yeah, today has just been uh, another day of me just sleeping and laying around. And I was like, let me get up and film this video really quickly because I want to show you ladies what I've been doing. I accidentally said baby girl's name. I'm gonna have to edit that out. But yes, I wanted to show you what I've been doing to baby girl's room, um, doing stuff a little bit at a time. Again, she's sharing a nursery with us, but she will have her own, she does have her own room. So let's get into it. So before we get into the haul, I just want, I am gonna put a before picture and insert it somewhere in here. So this is baby girl's room. Um, I just bought a new mattress for this bedroom and a new uh, platform bed um, holder. I don't know what you call it, but I know it's called a platform bed and it's just the base. And um, I bought this topper for our bed, but it's just a little too soft for me right now. So I'm just gonna put it over top of this mattress and this is the Lucid mattress. I got it off from Wayfair. And so this is how big her room is. So I'm gonna be painting it like a light um, neutral gray color. And it's a pretty good size for her. She probably won't be sleeping in this room until she's about two and a half, probably like, like two, two and a half years old. And I just wanna show you guys her closet. So I love this closet in here. I love that it has a window inside the closet, the light, and as you can see, this is all her stuff um, I have in here for right now until I finish painting this room and getting the bedding and everything on there. But I, I really love how deep the closet is, so I can't wait to start um, organizing it. So as you can see, um, I've painted in here and this is her bed set up and I still have a little bit more decorations to go through, but uh, I'm not gonna haul those clothes over there. The only stuff I'm gonna haul and show you ladies um, is this set over here, what I've got. And she does have curtains. I have to hang her curtains up. Um, that is her uh, bookshelf for her books. I've already started collecting her books. There's her books over there, which I'm also gonna do a haul on. And you ladies have seen um, her bassinet in my IG stories. And this is her closet. So I've got the closet. I won't, it's not messy but um, it's, it's pretty organized for right now, but I do need to put some things in there, um, some shelves or something, so I can put all her like six to nine month clothes and one year old, two year old clothes and stuff and shoes, strollers and all that good jazz in here. All right, ladies, um, really quickly before I get into this haul, I also wanna say 
Welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Amber Mellon. Um, right now, I am documenting my baby journey. Um, I started my YouTube channel um, for the second time because I wanted to document me starting a business, my highs and lows and all the mistakes and things that I incurred and just encourage people to not be afraid to go after their dreams. So I have tons of videos about that. But yes, right now I'm in mommy mode. So um, I will have a, a lot of mommy videos. And I, I am working on getting some um, videos that have to do with business and, you know, inspirational things. I'm working on that. Your girl just has to get her energy up because I'm just so tired all the time. But yes, if you are here for it, I would love for you um, to subscribe, whether you're a mommy, you want to be a mommy, or whether you just like watching mommy videos, or, you know, if you're interested in my other videos, I would love for you to subscribe and be a part of the family. So the first thing I'm going to haul and get into is the stuff that um, my s other people have bought for me and um, we're going to get into the things that my sister has gotten for me and then one of my aunts, which is her great auntie, has gotten for her. So my sister just keeps sending me stuff. So this is one of the onesies that my sister Brittany sent me and this is by Carter's and this is six months. So I thought that was super cute. And here is another onesie. This is just adorable. I love the navy blue and red. And I love that cute little mouse with the strawberry. And this is also Carter's and this is a newborn. Apparently they had a really good sale um, <clears throat> at the Carter store where my sister was. And she was like, she couldn't help it. Um, this is one of my favorite onesies that she purchased. This is a onesie. It has peaches all over it. I love the fact that it zips so there's no buttons you have to fuss with. And my favorite part about it is there's a peach on the little booty part. So I thought that was so cute. And this one is three months. So I really love that one. That one is my absolute favorite. And here is another polka dot onesie with the little sun on it and the, the what's so fitting about it is her name which i haven't revealed yet which i almost revealed in this video is it um it has the meaning of the sun in it the sun rising so i thought that was really pretty and what size was that that one was six months now this one is newborn the one i just showed you was carter's and this is also carter's and i think this is super cute how it has the um the pink whales and the white whales is pink and gray it's super cute and this is a newborn size so yeah i can't wait to see her in that and then we have um this carter's onesie super cute and, then and we also have this six month striped um, onesie and it has a little cute little ice cream on there and this one is super cute and this one is six months okay so now we have some stuff that my mother-in-law her grandmother and her, her grandmother got for her which is my husband's mother um, these cute little bibs they're super cute it's got, it's got the pink going and then we also have some socks. These socks look kind of big, so um, she probably won't be wearing these for a while unless they shrink in the dryer. We have this cute little bib. It says, I'm too cute. Then we also have um, daddy's little girl, which I'm pretty sure she will be a daddy's little girl. So yeah, I love that onesie. And this one is three to six months. Then we also have some cute little baby shoes. These are just adorable. These socks, OMG, I love the little crown on these, super cute. And these are um, infant booties, 3D infant booties. I don't know where she got these from, but these are super cute. And then we have some more little um, cute shoes right here. Then we have this onesie. This is six to nine months. Super cute. And then we have um, six to nine months. I love 
the camera on it and how it says insta famous and um selfie super cute and then this is really cute this is six to nine months and this is a unicorn onesie and i absolutely love this one and then we have some bibs that um her aunt got her well her great aunt on my dad's side um that i had listed on my registry so uh these are just the, the bibs i mean not bibs i'm sorry burp cloths that are shaped like this i don't know what i'm talking about bibs and i just love the little tps on that one i love how it's black and white and this one has the little plus marks on it this one has little um geometric shapes i love this black and white plus sign and then we have this one which is super cute but yeah so that one was on my registry also um this swaddle i actually got for free in a gift welcome box i can't remember if this one was from target or amazon but i did sign up for all the free welcome boxes i could and i know the ones that i've gotten are from walmart amazon in Target. I haven't gotten one from Bye Bye Baby yet just because a lot of the locations closed down and the closest one to me is about 35-40 minutes away. So we also have this little cute blanket her grandmother got her. Really soft and cute. And then um, these headbands or little hats. I think I had this on my registry. This is the ones that my sister got. Look at that. Look at that little hat. That's so cute. Come in burgundy. Um, this pretty tan color. We have um, a pink color. Super cute. The mustard and gray. So yeah, I cannot wait to see her with these little cute turban hats on. That's going to be so cute. I need to move the camera back a little bit yeah that's better okay and also this is another gift that my sister got for me this is um a robe i think it's by posh peanut where's the tag it doesn't have a tag in it it's either by posh peanut or another company i can't remember but this was before i found out what i was having i didn't even know if i was having a boy or a girl and my sister said she really wanted to get this robe for me for mother's day and i she was like girl i just had a feeling that you were gonna have a girl she was like i felt it and if you weren't gonna have a girl then i don't know what i was gonna do because she didn't even know if i was gonna have a boy yet and i'm like if i had a boy i could not put my baby boy in this pink swaddle so she is too funny. She ended up getting me this anyways, even though she didn't know what I was having. So me and baby girl will be matching at the hospital with the matching robe and um, swaddle. And please forgive me guys for breathing so hard. Oh my gosh. And um, baby girl's room is closer. It's like literally the front of the house, the windows to the front of the house the sun just beats down right here and it gets so hot in here and there's no ceiling fan but yeah this is super cute came with the headband and then we also have some two more cute onesies that um her auntie Brittany got for her and i love how it has the donuts on here and this is a little nightgown super super cute and it also came with the little headband you can tie around their heads I hope this stays, we'll see how it goes. But if it doesn't, I absolutely love this gown. And then we have like this Japanese blossom looking one. That's it. Well, it's not Japanese blossom, it's like a rose, dusty rose color, but this is also a gown. It ties at the bottom, it's super cute. And it also has the headband to go with it. So now I'm going to um, haul some things that I, got for her so yeah i've been picking up a few things so um where did i get this one from i can't even remember where i got this from but this is super cute um i think this is three months 
it was on clearance i might have got it from target yeah it was six months but i love how it has the little rainbows and the bunny and i love these pants with the feet in them super cute and i also got these receiving blankets these i got from marshall's and i love how it's neutral um i do want to get a bunch of neutral stuff just so if i have a boy the next time i can use it again then i also got mommy's girl i thought this was super cute with the little rose pants in the back and the onesie and it has a little um head scrunchy headband that comes with it so yeah that's super cute and i got this from marshall's um i also got um these cute little onesies from marshmallow for marshmallow from marshall's i'm telling you girl it's hot in this room this heat is making me delirious but yeah i love i just love the floral print it's super pretty i got that from marshall's um this uh yes i got this one from marshall's too and this one also says mommy's little girl and this is pink and i love how this one has the feet in it too and it also has the headband and then this one i was really excited about because um this is a gown so i just love gowns because i heard they're super easy to use for newborns especially when you're changing them in the middle of the night so yeah i definitely want to stock up on a lot of gowns especially since it's going to be in the fall when i have her and we're probably not going to go anywhere so i think gowns will be the most effective but yeah this was super cute i love the color and i love the little headband and then this outfit i got from burlington store and i just thought that was too cute to pass up and this one is three to six months i just love the little tutu detailing at the bottom and the headband so yeah super cute and i also got this from burlington store i just love the little eyelashes and the lipstick especially since her mommy was like like a makeup artist slash barber hairstylist so yeah i thought that was super cute and um this robe i could not pass up i don't even know if babies you know if i have the time if i'll even be thinking about putting her in a robe i'm pretty sure i will when she gets bath but yeah this is too cute to pass up and this is from zero to nine months and i love that it has a little hood on it too so yeah that is super cute and then this is the first first outfit i ever bought for her once i found out i was having a girl and this is the outfit that i used in my reveal video surprising my parents that we were having a baby and it's just super cute it reminds me of like a little pink ladybug and then these are some more receiving blankets that i got um i think i got i think this one came from burlington store too but yeah just simple nice cotton material and then i also got her some bath towels and these i believe i also got from these came from tj maxx actually these two bath towels so yeah homegirl's gonna be warm and um she's gonna be warm coming out the bath bathtub and then i also got her um these blankets this one where did i get this from this i got from marshall's and i thought it was really really pretty i love the color i love the pattern just really i don't know it's really modern looking and pretty and i also got her another blanket which i thought was super cute that's that and i love how that looks very modern and chic and i just love those colors in there and this blanket is super super soft and this this blanket was only six dollars i got it from marshall's six dollars that is a good deal you can't beat that oh how much did i pay for this one this one was this one was also on clearance six dollars and i know people tell mommies not to buy anything um, until after the baby shower but uh, it's human nature to be excited when you have a baby i mean it's your child you know you want to 
get stuff for it too especially things that you see that's really really cute so if there's any mamas out there you feel bad for buying stuff for your baby don't feel bad it's just it's natural it's human nature to want to buy things for your baby especially if it's your first baby i mean it's only common sense that you would be excited so yeah i don't feel bad at all for um you know purchases some things that i saw and um my sister is still sending me stuff and um i can't and my sister-in-law she had her my niece four years ago and i haven't even showed you guys that i just need to go ahead and tell y'all the name soon because i didn't say a baby girl's name like twice in this haul but yeah baby girl is already hooked up with some baby clothes from her aunt which is my um husband's sister and she gave me some girl clothes in hopes that whenever we do start having children if we had a girl you know we could use it and if we didn't have a girl we could just you know get go to like once upon a time or whatever a consignment store and get money back and buy you know boy clothes but luckily we are having a girl and she has some beautiful girl clothes so i'm super excited about that so yeah ladies that is it for this haul excuse the heavy breathing and everything but yeah i just wanted to show you some of the stuff that um i've been getting and working on and i just really need a boost of energy these next couple couple of weeks because we are having a baby shower and it's going to be right before my birthday in september um we are having a small baby shower but i don't want to go into detail about that i will go into that in another video and I do want to show you guys a quick little, um, my bump, and especially since I don't have a dress on today. So I actually can show you, I actually can show you like how big this belly is getting. So let's see if I can put that. So this is how I'm looking from the side. Ba baby girl is just taking over my body and the belly is just so super big and out there so that's how it's looking and I did want to show you guys a picture of my stomach um like I said I haven't my stomach is not crazy with stretch marks it does have stretch marks on there but these are the stretch marks that I had before the baby and you I couldn't I could see them on my stomach but they were really faint but now that I'm getting bigger you can just see them a lot and you can see my veins on camera but yeah this is how my actual belly is looking so it could be worse it's not doing you know too bad and even if it was bad you know it is what it is that's what happens when you have a baby i guess i'm one of the people that has stretch mark skin i heard you either have stretch mark skin or you don't but it's okay i still put um cocoa butter on it just to prevent from getting any new ones like i said these are old ones but this is how my stomach looks like you know where you guys can like actually see what it's looking like so i have a any my navels all the way in so yeah i'm glad that is an any because i did not want that thing to be coming out and looking black right there looking dark but yeah that's it guys so um now you see what the the belly is looking like all right ladies that is it for this video i hope you enjoyed on um, this quick little haul and hopefully i'll have a 20 i would say 25 to 28 weeks update bump update for you guys and let you know everything that's going on um with the baby and everything like that i love you guys and congratulations to all the new mamas out there the new mamas that are uh, you have the same due date as me or your due dates in october or you just found out you're pregnant um congratulations to all of you thank you guys for watching my channel and just thank you to all my youtube family um whoever watches this channel you're not pregnant or you don't have a newborn or you already have kids thank you for watching anyways and i'll see you ladies in the next video bye